Hi everyone, I'm Matt and today I got a little Arduino project for you. I'm gonna measure the power consumption of an Arduino board and all the hardware you are gonna hook up to it. It's a nice thing to know uh, for a variety of reasons. For instance, uh, if you wanna uh, solar power your, your entire project, uh, you have to know how much power you are, uh, your system takes to run. Or maybe you'd like to use uh, uh, the most compact transformer uh, possible or you just wanna mess with some uh, with some data in the power consumption area. Uh, anyway, I think, I think uh, it could be useful stuff to know. In order to do so, uh, we're gonna need uh, essentially to measure uh, voltages in different parts of the circuits. But uh, for this project, I'm gonna use a 12 volts uh, power supply. Uh, but my Arduino can read just uh, up to 5 volts uh, through the analog input. So I'm going to use uh, a voltage divider. A voltage divider is a pretty basic uh, circuit that allows me to read higher voltages. I'm going to hook up the um, analog uh, pin here and calculate the, the voltage between these two points and here I must have 5 volts 5 volts top because it's the, the higher voltages I can read let's say I put a 10 kilo ohm resistor here for the Kirchhoff's second law if uh, I have here 5 volts, here I must have 7 volts. And so I can calculate the current which flows through the first resistor, the first uh, ohm's law says that uh, V equal R times the current, and so I can calculate the current this way. In my case, I got uh, 7 volts onto 10 times amps. The current is the same through all the circuits. I'm considering non uh, zero current flowing through the Arduino. So all the current goes through the second resistor, R2. If here I have 5 volts, the resistance here, R2, must be equal to voltage on current, in this case 5 volts times E. If I do the math, I find out that uh, R2 must be around uh, 7.1 uh, kilo ohm. Or lower. So uh, let's say I pick uh, R2 like 5 kilo ohm. For convenience. Because I'm gonna put two 10 kilo ohm resistor in parallel in order to, tame, to obtain a 5 kilo ohm resistance. In order to obtain the effective voltage here, I must use the voltage divider formula, which is R1 plus R2 on R2 times V2. V2 is the current here. So R1 plus R2 on R2 is 3 in my case. So V equal 3 times V2. V2 through analog pin A0 or A whatever. So I measure V2, I multiply it by 3 and I obtain the effect, effective uh, voltage here. So the circuit is uh, fairly simple. Uh, the main component is a uh, high voltage, low resistance resistor. 
here. I got a 7.5 ohm 5 volts resistor. And this is put in series to the main line before going through all the system. So all the current uh, that flows out uh, from the battery in this case must flow through this resistor. So if I figure out uh, the voltage here and here, I can therefore calculate the current. So I use I've used the two voltage divider, one here, in order to measure uh, the voltage out of the battery. In this case, it must be uh, about nine volts, and this is read into the analog pin A1 and then I read the voltage after the resistor here thanks to this uh, voltage divider through the A5 analog pin so I can uh, make the difference between these two values divided by 7.5 ohms and so I will have the current which flows out of the uh, out of the battery and into all of your system. I've put uh, two LEDs in order to simulate uh, some some load. They turn on and off according to a to a timer, and then all the all the results are logged into an SD card. This is not the one I've used, uh, but the connections are similar. I have a, a VCC 5 volts a ground and then 4 pin in order to write and read an SD or a micro SD card. The sketch is pretty simple too. You can find it in the description, but the main part is the voltage reading. Down here, here I can read the voltage through the analog pin A1 and through the analog pin A5. Thanks to the difference between these two values, I can calculate then the current in milliamps I can save the time through the foot to the function uh, millis which will be important later and then I can uh, write all this information the voltage from the power supply the, the current that the all the system draws and the time into the SD in the log.txt file then a delay, one second of delay and the loop starts again you can uh, use less delay in the end depending of uh, what uh, what you're gonna need so after uploading the sketch I can uh, insert my standard SD card into the slot plug in the power supply and here we have uh, here we have the two LEDs uh, they will turn on and off every three seconds I believe or something simulating a lot I can uh, use these uh, 12 volts bulb simulating some other uh, loads and then I can uh, take the system for a spin and gather some data the voltage between uh, positive and negative and the current flowing through 
the resistor and also the time will be logged into the SD, into a file named uh, log.txt. A title uh, on the system will uh, draw about uh, 50 60 milliamps and at, at top uh, about uh, 200. Whoops, the other side. The module itself is gonna use some uh, some power to work, and so I think uh, we have gathered we have gathered enough data. Let's see what we got. And uh, here we have it, the log.txt file. If I open it, I can see I have uh, three columns. The f in the first, I have the voltage. Of the power supply in the second uh, current that I draw and in the third I have the time I got about uh, 200 seconds worth of data I like to use uh, MATLAB to elaborate uh, results and so I have used the, the simple uh, import data tool to help myself uh, uh, import the three columns uh, which occur, ign ignoring the unit of measure. So if I, I run this uh, simple script, which is just uh, a loading from the file and the three simple plots from voltage, current and power, which is just voltage times uh, current, I can see the results. So in the first one we have the voltage over time and we can see that is pretty consistent about from 12.05 uh, to 12.1 volts so the, in the range of uh, 0.06 volts the power supply delivers uh, a fairly consistent voltage. In this one we can see the current. At idle uh, the Arduino and the SD shield consume about uh, 54, almost 60 uh, milliamps. This one, these little peaks are the LEDs, the two LEDs, which turn on and off again, uh, again and again. And these bigger peaks are the 12 volts bulb. At maximum, I'm about uh, 180 milliamps. The average. Uh, I will need to do some math, but uh, it will be about uh, 120 milliamps. And finally, we have the power graph. Here we have in uh, watts and uh, here in seconds. And so I'm going. I. I was drawing at tops 2.2 watts, which isn't that low, but at idle uh, I, well, I was uh, about 1 watt. It's important to remember that the resistor, uh, the main resistor, uh, is a 5 watts, so I cannot uh, go uh, much further up. So there you have it, uh, an easy way. Uh, to monitor the power consumption of your uh, of your devices, 
Uh, the limit here is the 5 watts uh, resistor, uh, but if you change uh, that for a higher one, uh, you can uh, measure as high as uh, 10, 12, uh, 12 watts. No more than that. Uh, if you want to go higher, you're gonna need a, a whole sensor, uh, which can measure uh, up to 30 amps of current. So I think it can be interesting nonetheless, knowing and elaborate uh, your power consumption in terms of voltage, uh, current and so power. Uh, all the info, or all the script and the sketch uh, can be found in the link in the description in the World Drive folder. So there you have it, I hope uh, you may find this uh, useful and uh, see you next time.